everybody, this is Finn with Finn TV. A little too windy today to fish. Me and Grayson went out yesterday and tried to catch some crappie. We found the crappie. I'll put in a little clip I took of the pile of crappie that we was on, on Pan Optics. As you can see, those, uh, those crappie was piled up and they would just come up and they would just, just nibble, just bump that bait and that's all. And I was just, I was dropping it right in their face. Uh, extremely hard to get the bite. And I've got one color and one particular style of grub that uh, tends to work whenever that bite gets like that. We've got some rain coming in Wednesday. That should, uh, that should fix everything as far as the crappie bite being off. But until then, I want to pour up some grubs. I want to show you all this color right here. It is a beautiful color. Uh, when the crappie get like that, and you know, I'm going out there with my pan optics and I'm finding them and I'm dropping it right there in their face and they just still won't commit. Uh, I've got the bait to fix that right there. Got the first color right here. I hadn't got it degassed. I'm gonna set it right here in this big gassing chamber. We're gonna be gas and plastic. How about that camera wasn't even on? Uh, all I've done is uh, added, there's been no color or anything added. All I've done was added this hologram glitter. This right here will just be the tail color. I'm gonna add just a little bit of green. And that is a 035, about a half a scoop. And these scoops are uh, quarter tablespoons. I've got to add it just a little bit of black for this recipe. About a half a scoop of black. Mmm, I made a mess. Got to add about a half a spoon of silver. And all this, the black was a small flake. This is a medium flake, 035 and just a little bit of purple. About a half a cup of, I mean a half a spoon of that. All right. This makes a, an awesome looking color. And this will be the tail color here. I'm gonna pop this in for just a few seconds and it's starting to cool off and uh, we'll shoot these tails right here. I've already preheated these molds. It was about 30, uh, I'm gonna say 38. My truck said 35 this morning but the weather app said 38. And uh, anyway, it was pretty cold this morning, uh, especially for this time of year in Alabama. I don't have an oven or anything, so, or a hot plate. I used to have a hot plate, but when we moved, uh, I haven't located it yet, but um, I just use this little propane torch. Try not to just kind of keep that heat moving. Uh, that's the way I done those swim bait. Uh, molds in that video, my last video. We'll just wait for this to cool. So here's the tails in the mold here.
All right, it's time to do the white. It's just the MF color white. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 is what the recipe calls for. That's just a solid white. All right, this white pearl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And this is just a pearl non bleed. One, two, three, four, five. That's just what we're looking for right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's just a, just a creamy white pearl. Uh, you you kind of want it a little bit to where it's slightly transparent. You don't want to put too much white because then you won't be able to see the pearl highlights as well. Tails are already loaded in this mold. Just hold it for a few seconds. I like to get that plastic as hot as I can. It's got a hole. Anyway, it's got a hole in there, and that plastic is around that. Keep the you'll just about tear those tails before they come apart. So you don't have to have these molds quite as hot. So we are cooled down. There they are. So, all right, guys, I hope y'all like the color I made today. If you like the bait making videos, uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a color made. Drop it in the comments. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching, and I just want to say God bless each and every one of you.